Broadband technology is reshaping our world. The speed with which it offers access to information is changing virtually every element of society, from banking to entertainment, and from transportation to communication. As the number of broadband subscribers grows, more and more people have the ability to enjoy the advantages of previously unimaginably fast connections and reap the economic and social benefits that come along with them. Broadband, we all know, is a transformational technology. Its global rollout carries vast potential for sustainable development by enhancing learning opportunities, by facilitating the exchange of information, by increasing access to content that is linguistically and culturally diverse. This is a challenge that we have to take, and if you take, if you take the right decision, that world that we are imagining, we're dreaming, a lot of things that help, can happen in this world will happen much faster than we do right now. It is the aspiration to this goal that guided the sixth meeting of the Broadband Commission for Digital Development, a joint project of the International Telecommunications Union and UNESCO. There, experts on information and communication technologies met and shared ideas with policymakers from around the world on how to best utilize these services. One such expert was Carlos Slim, a Mexican businessman and philanthropist whose telecom giants Telmex and America Mobile are among the world's largest mobile firms. He described the impact of broadband on developing countries in his own work. War can be done for uh, health, education, banking, e-government, they can uh, uh, communicate what they think and maybe some of them uh, can have uh, millions of people knowing what is happening. Speakers at this meeting stressed that it was not enough to achieve higher broadband penetration rates. It was just as important to use this technology to promote social goods. American actress Gina Davis who has devoted much of her adult life to promoting gender equality, was the guest of honor at this meeting and explained the power of ICTs to make the world a better place for women and girls. The UN is keenly aware of the global gender power imbalance. As you know, uh, they have made empowerment of women a Millennium Development Goal in its own right, MDG3. Broadband will be key to meeting this goal by providing women with the means to educate themselves and their children, improve their own health and the health of their families and communities. The slogan of Sunday's meeting was Be More, a message to those in attendance to use the power of broadband to do bigger and better things in the world of development. Well, we are launching the campaign Be More Broadband to make sure that uh, we are promoting the idea of every citizen of this planet to having access to broadband so that they could really exercise their full right as citizens of the world. In an effort to be more, the Broadband Commission aims to make these amazing technologies more accessible, affordable, and easier to use. In doing so, they will help spread the digital revolution and the power of ICTs even further. At the Yale Club in New York, I'm Connor Schratz for South South News.